So I started the skybox with a um, 3x4 grid here. Um, the size of this is about 2048 by 2048. Uh, that's the size of um, each square in the grid. I just used the uh, the rulers to um, <clears throat> kind of put together my grid and I kind of use the squares you see here as kind of a guide there. Uh, if you want to go to rulers, just go to view and just go to um, uh, rulers and it will show the rulers and then you just um, left click and drag and it will bring your rulers down. So here you can kind of see how I have it laid out here. Um, F meaning front, top meaning top, B meaning bottom, L meaning uh, left, R meaning right, and B meaning uh, back. So we're going to go ahead and take your sun here, uh, copy merge, and we're going to go back to our, um, our skybox grid here. And we're just going to go ahead and paste our sun right there. So we're just going to grab that and scoot it over. And there we are. We just put it in the front um, uh, the front square here. Uh, I think we're going to take it and um, minimize it a little bit. Because uh, right now it's a little bit too, uh, too big here. So we're going gonna, we're gonna to put it in the middle right here. Um, Kind of on the horizon. Uh, if you don't know where your horizon is, it's the middle line right here. So I went ahead and uh, shrunk it down a little bit, uh, just above the horizon. And now I'm going to go ahead and start making the background here. So I just what I did was I just created a new layer, um, threw a nice gradient on there. Um, I chose like your your standard um, synth wave type of colors. Um, so I chose a monochromatic um, 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 violet purple style there. As you can see, I was just, you know, kind of playing around with the settings to see kind of, you know, um, to see how I wanted the colors to be. If I wanted it um, to pop out a little bit more, if I wanted a little bit more, um, less contrast. But I kind of settled upon um, this right here. So this is kind of what I settled upon. So next we're going to go ahead and um, top and bottom of our skybox. So I'm just going to use my marquee tool to, to um, highlight that area there. I'm just going to use my pink tool and I'm going to use my eyedropper tool to grab the bottom color and then I'm going to pretty much do what I did with the top there and just grab my um, marquee tool and then my pink tool and paint the bottom, bottom there. And there we go. Now we got our top and our bottom. All right, let's try and put a nice starry background. Um, you don't have to do that, but I decided to do it just for demonstration purposes. So I just went and grabbed a free background from uh, pixelbay.com, which is a um, great place to get um, free photos uh, that are uh, royalty free. So I just went ahead and just uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and just paste it in my scene here, and I'm gonna use um, the layer blending to kind of blend it in to kind of make it look you know uh, a little bit more uh, seamless here. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, resize it. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, duplicate that a few times here. blending layers and kind of see what I want and I think I'm gonna go with the uh, the color dodge which as you can see here you got a um, uh, number of options uh, to choose from but in this case uh, we're gonna go with the, uh, the color dodge Turn back on the uh, the 
color dodge here. And then I'm gonna go and uh, grab my um, my pattern stamp tool and kind of blend it in so it looks a little bit more um, more seamless. As you can see here, I'm kind of blending in so it looks a little bit more uh, more seamless to get rid of that little line you see in the middle there. Cool. All right, so I think this is looking um, pretty good. Pretty good. I think I'm, I think I'm satisfied. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, put some stars on the top here. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat what I just did. I'm gonna go ahead and resize it. And I'm gonna create a uh, clipping mask here. And then go ahead to my uh, color dodge. And now we have the, uh, the top. I'm going to adjust the uh, opacity just a little bit here. Yeah, and I think that's looking, looking pretty good. We're just going to put one on the bottom just in case. It probably won't be seen in the scene that we're building in Unity. But just in case, it, we're just going to go ahead and do it anyway. So same thing here, we're just going to use the uh, the color dodge. And we're going to turn it down, turn down the opacity. I think we're looking good, so let's go ahead and save it out. We're going to save it um, each square at a time. You want to save each square one by one, as you can see here, and you're done.